Well, here's something you're going to find online. Good afternoon. My name is Jim Bennett. I'm a 100% disabled veteran with PTSD. It took a suicide attempt to get attention from the federal government because I was living in a shack without a shower. Okay. So it said someone misspelled corporation. The Republic fell during the Civil War and was finalized in 1871, creating the District of Columbia. People don't know what they're talking about, which is why we're still subjugated. America is a crown colony. I mean, all these things factor in. They would all factor in if you knew this shit, you probably wouldn't be buying into what's being shopped around in this post. America, a.k.a. the District of Columbia, is the bottom of the trilateral city-states. We are debt slaves. We do not matter to our masters. Now, I want you to think about this quote-unquote veteran. The fella in question is government property. Remember, he consented to being government property unless he was old enough to be drafted the last time the draft was in effect. Uh, he is now viewed as, an, as obsolete, is what I was trying to spit out. Uh, no business would invest in a broken down machine. Sadly, that's how it works. That's how he is viewed. That's what's what. And the rest of this shit is absolutely irrelevant unless we band it together, sorted out what does reflect reality, challenged one another, but first we'd have to challenge ourselves, which is what people aren't doing. Instead, they're just doing the mob mentality of let's scream at the fucking sky and not do anything fucking constructive. And only afterwards would we uh, organize and draw a line in the sand. And the goal would be to reconstitute the Republic, generate a hard currency, buck what people consider the system. And I'm not talking about tear it down. I'm not talking about being an anarchist or any of that dumb fucking shit. I'm talking about using the infrastructure already in place, which works. And start over like adults. There's always going to be a system. What matters is not letting the snakes run the fucking show. And kick back, you know, resting on our laurels. This is what we've been doing. That's what we are doing. And nothing has changed since ancient Sumer. It's just gotten worse. Because people do not fucking know what they are talking about. trillion dollars on Afghanistan. I worked in the Pentagon before 9-11. I went to Afghanistan in 2011 and 2012. They have the fucking money! Woo! 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 To fund the fucking war that we lost! They have money to fix your water heater and get you a hot damn shower! Woo! So here's my question. Is it for the people by the people? Because if so, this entire scenario would be irrelevant. Yeah? You picking up what I'm putting down? It's not for the people by the people. And it hasn't been since the Civil War. But people still pop off firecrackers every 4th of July. And they echo our master's official narrative. The phony adult fairy tale people bought into and believe in. Remember, during the first 4th of July, King George left the states, you know, America. He pulled out his troops and continued to collect unconstitutional taxes on his crown colony. Why doesn't that come up? Why don't people think in terms of that? Why don't all these people in this room know that? And I'm sure you're probably saying, well, some of them might. If they knew that, why would they be there? <laughs> why would they just be jerking each other off? This is not a constructive activity. This isn't going to change anything. This is just a pointless fucking video. Hot water is a human right. There are people in third world countries. I've been there. They live in a higher standard of living than the people across the street that have a boarded up window. Okay? That's because America's a testing bed as well. Uh, think back to 2020. What did you see during that agenda? Our masters rolled out various stages to test 
the public. You saw something specifically in Australia, where, ironically, since it used to be a prison colony, <laughs> uh, if you were paying attention to what they were doing there, it was as Orwellian and dark as it comes. And then what happened in Canada with the trucks, you know, and fucking Trudeau, or Trudeau, a steward, not unlike Trump, Obama, Reagan, Bush, the other Bush, all the other shit. Yeah? And what happened here in the States? You saw different agendas with each one of these, and all of those are crown colonies. All of those are vassal states under the crown. The same applies to New Zealand. And that's just to name a few. You do not have to drive a car to walk to one of these slumlord stations. It's all around us. None of the people that work in here live in here. Right. Woo! Woo! They're shit. I'm done with the bullshit. I'm fed up. You have 22 suicides a day with veterans. We're only 6% of the population, so we don't get attention. But I'm here today because everything sucks. Insurance went up. Groceries went up. Who can afford to go grocery shopping? Me. You? Can you? Groceries. Rent. <laughs> car right if it costs you three hundred dollars to fill your car with groceries for a family of four it costs you fifteen hundred dollars for a three-bedroom house so why isn't he talking about usury and the fact that that was illegal and that all the quote-unquote jewish folks who organized and subjugated people down the line were chased out of every village, town, fill in the blank. Every single fucking time they repeated this process. Except for now. Because <laughs> uh, complacency got us this far, and people confuse entertainment for research, and all they repeat are fallacies, which are our master's narratives. That's why our masters gave us this form of communication, and people don't have a fucking clue. That doesn't have a backyard. Forget having a dog. Forget having children. The American dream is a nightmare. The American pipe dream, mind you. Just another narrative. People were sold. That's all it's ever fucking been. Our masters are rolling out their agenda, which they formulated prior to the 16th century, approximately. It began roughly in the 16th century. It's the long game. It's the uh, the great game. And we haven't done a single thing to stop it. You and I are paving the way for this shit. For man merging with machine, for hive mind, all of this spooky fucking shit. And it's all connected to this. All the shit that I rattled off already. No one's doing anything to stop it. Uh, on that note, I bitch about this a lot, and this is another reason why most of the things I leave online aren't seen by people. They're not shown to you in your feed. You're not spoon-fed what I can teach you and what I speak to. And remember, I don't know everything. <laughs> I certainly don't, but I have more answers than the other kids. Uh, July 1st, 2023, Fed Now was rolled out. And supposedly it's voluntary for all uh, banking institutions either way. Look into it, don't buy into it, but we didn't do anything to stop it. In the same month, remember, this is when people were talking about distraction campaigns, like reptoids or lizard people on a plane. This is when people were babbling about the sound of Freemasons, even though another twin movie came out called God is a Bullet a month prior to, which most people didn't see and don't know about. Um, later in the month of July, as of the 24th of July, our masters rolled out something called World Coin. I think that's what it's called. Um, I said it a lot, and I, I might be wrong about that, but I think it's World Coin, and it was instituted with a financial incentive. In other words, they gave people free digital coins to sign up, to consent to it. And if you look that up, they were using some spooky objects to make this possible. I'm not going to have enough time to play this video, so if you want to watch this video, it should be on here somewhere. And naturally, TikTok didn't show me the last viewed video. Either time I did that. So feel free to go through if you want. Uh, this account's got 6,000 plus people. And as always, what the fuck do I know? This is